Hi, this is Steve Strope of Pure Vision, and welcome back to the Timberwolf Speed Shop. Well, the last time you checked in with us, you saw Scott Sullivan laying down the flames on this Wicked 57. Since then, we've had to uh, get it clear coated, do all the color sanding and buffing. But along with that, we had Eric Thorson from Eric Thorson Custom Upholstery come, recover the seats and do the interior in a stock but stunning red. And along with that, we had to finish all of our reassembly, putting the car together, uh, getting over small little roadblocks that are in our way, which usually comes with building a custom car. But uh, so far, we've been happy with everything, and I think the results speak for themselves. I wanted the interior to pop just as much as the flames. So we took out the old black interior, put this bright red one in. Along with that, we kind of redid the dash a little bit. We had classic instruments, new gauge package in there. We also toned down some of the bright work with a flat gray, more of a machined, hardcore look. When I do an engine bay, I attack it the same way as the whole design of the car. It follows a theme. So we wanted a vintage drag race look, nothing better than a red motor, thinned valve covers, and dual quads. I wanted a couple of extra touches. The white headers are a perfect throwback to the drag racing days of in the 60s. And I wanted a kind of a hardcore at-home look fuel delivery system, so I made this really simple looking fuel block that feeds the carburetors. And I took two air cleaners that you can get over the counter, cut them, put them together as one, and these tall velocity stack looking pieces almost give it a tunnel ram look of the 70s. So there's a couple of different drag race cues going on in here, and they all work together to give you that big impact of traditional drag race. Well, to create or complete this drag race look, we have to have big and littles. We got a huge set of 31 inch by 16 and a half radials with little drag skinnies in the front, and to create that visual impact we need, I wanted a very traditional look. So we went to Billet Specialties, got their legacy wheel in the rear, and their 10-spoke altered wheel in the front, which just nails the drag race look. Well, now that we've told you all about it, let's get in it and give it a drive and see what it looks like going down the road. For me and my guys, the greatest compliment we could get is that the person that wins this car loves this car for what it is, and is excited to own it, and is going to take care of it just like we would. Thanks for watching the Timberwolf Speed Shop. Now go bid and good luck.